So far, so good. All right, simple, simple start here. Oh, who's that? Oh, <laughs> is that Darian? We all like practice our TikTok dances and we're ready to do them on stage, I think. Yeah, maybe, no. Don't overpromise. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive in. Let's kick this grand finals off. It is Tribe Gaming taking on Class Champs. And to win this grand finals and get the revenge that Tribe Gaming is looking for, they have to win twice because Class Champs beat them in that upper bracket finals. So Picastro, kick this off here. And all the players are here. They're just scattered around in the lobby here. So a couple of them may Papa pop over. HD. There's probably gonna be a little bit of a background noise. You might have some celebrity guests popping in and out here. But everybody's out here in Finland for the World Championship. We're very, very excited about this. And we are literally four days from the World Championship, where these two teams are actually gonna be facing off in the very, very first round. It is the opening match that they will have, but obviously, like we said, Tribe Games have to beat them twice. So a lot of practice for both of the teams here. But look at this, using the Quake combined with the Log Launcher, able to clear out the, I, wait, did he use enough light? I'm kind of confused by the lightning there. I'd have to watch that back there. He had the Quake go off there, but he, Took out the multi-inferno on the left, but he did not get the expo down. That seemed intentional, though. But he gets the model down with the clan castle troops there. Queen's still alive. No ability, though. The expo's going to be able to pick her off here. And then he'll go ahead and charge the Lalo through the bottom base here. Go into the multi-inferno first, and then the town hall. He does not have a blimp to go secure the town hall early. So that means he's going to burn a lot of freezes here. He pops the ability early. Yetis are still alive. Look at the Yetis going up to the top of the base there. They're going to go into the town hall compartment. They go and take the town hall down. Good push here. Hound is protected across the base. They'll be able to the protection through the defensive world champion. As soon as the Hound pops, he's got a skeleton spell, but he got the tanking there. Lots of cleanup still intact. Picastro looking okay here, but he's got to get the world champion under control. Here comes Head on his infant left side. He's going to step his way in and work her down. So far, so good. So far, so good. Just getting the scatter shot here. Oh, no, I already hear Tribe Gaming cheering over there. I hear Tribe cheering. Hey, Tribe, is that you? <laughs> yep. All right, well, they know they got the defense there. I hear them cheering in the background. <laughs> <laughs> but that one looks like it is going to be a hold. Rakeras stops him up here. And now Tribe Gaming is going to have a chance to take an early lead here if they can respond with a higher percentage or possibly just a triple. There's Judo. There's Judo. So What's going on? Yeah, I mean, uh, we got we got the best four of the, of the weekend here. Other than the world championship, you know. <laughs> uh, now, that's this might not take the same kind of... Uh, Gravity is that one there, but let's dive into Kronos. Kronos for the first attack here for Tribe Gaming. Going in with the Queen and from the very bottom of the base here, doing a Queen charge. She's got a Twin Hog attack here. It's gonna be do dropping that blimp over the left side here, taking out the multi inferno of the Expo. Those are his key targets there. Gotta make sure that he cuts the funnel here. Always a good way to set up a blimp here, but the downside of that blimp there is it's not gonna get the Clan Castle pull, so he's still gonna have to fight the Clan Castle once he gets deeper. And the Clan Castle is positioned so that he will engage the model at the same time that he pulls it. So that could be trouble there. He may have wanted that blimp to land a little bit closer than it did, but then again, I don't I don't think he like I don't think he would have been able to. So he must have done it this way intentionally. But you know what he can do? He can put in a hog to go pull the clan castle here if he can get it close enough. So we'll see what he does, but he rages up and freezes the invisible tower. Just wait through that town hall. He can go to the right. Coco Loon's down. Simple, simple push here. He has the funnel over the right there to drive the king into the base to go after the multi-inferno. The queen's going to be the first to engage the CC, and here comes Mono the Fire under heavy, heavy hits. Here. The queen will rage up again, moving just slow enough here that the town for poison should hopefully fade by the time she gets her healers into it. But he's already starting the hogs over the left side of the base here. He's got the hogs going into the multi- or into the, the defensive world champion. He's got a shot. Looking okay here, though. Queen holding in strong. Headhunter's coming out there, but she's got super minions right there as well. She's got the model to take him down there. Steps in. Okay, looking good here. Very, very good. The Queen is looking almost completely safe from this point on. Kronos looking pretty hot on this one, but he still has that defensive Queen on the far, far back side of the base here, and that could be trouble if he doesn't have enough hogs in front of the world champ to go deal with her. He's got a couple of headhunters, but he's missing a couple defenses along the perimeter top side of the base there that could cause problems if it causes separation of the hogs and the world champion. The Hogs are going to the queen. They're getting dumped right into her. And the world champion going north, but okay, they're cheering. They're cheering. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> yeah, all right. They're, they're going crazy over there. All right. Well, it uh, looks like Tribe Gaming 
is going to swag a rage, swag an invisibility, pick up the first triple of the war. TMI. Easy pickup right TV there. And it looks like they are going to be Eric starting on top. And remember, they have to win twice. So very, very important that they pick up an early lead in this one here and set themselves on the right foot here to get the bracket reset in this grand finals match. Returning fire now for class champs will be Paddleino going in with the Skelly Donut into Lalo. He's going to toss in the late bat spell after he's... Okay, was he trying to get the mult or the expo here? I think he's just going after the multi and the clan castle. Able to take both of those and picks up the sweeper. So far, so good. All right, simple, simple start here. Oh, who's that? Oh, <laughs> is that Darian? Is that Darian? <laughs> hey, Darian, come say hi. <laughs> Hello. There we Hold go. On. Oh, there we are. Yeah, there you are. There you are. <laughs> hey, everyone. Well, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be a world championship without uh, without Darian here as well, right? Or without you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rest of you all. And everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Really Dar looking forward to this weekend. Darian's gonna be doing a little bit of the. Uh, he's gonna be on the casting crew this time, so like that's gonna be like extra cool, right? I think I'm doing a whole song and dance musical number. He's got a, a full musical. We all like practice our TikTok dances and we're ready to do them on stage, I think. Yeah? Maybe, no. Don't overpromise. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we tried, we tried. All right, well, <laughs> let's stand into this uh, town hall here. You can see Pato has the heroes just clearing out all the collectors and the storage just across the bottom of the base here. The queen gets an invisibility to get, to get the scatter shot down, but he does need to get the sneaky goblins with a path to get in there without getting distracted onto the other collectors and storages. And that was the job of the heroes here, just getting some critical defenses. However, he did miss the scatter shot, but he did get the multi infernal aside because he did the wall breaks there. But he tested a second time here for the Sneaky Goblins. Even invest a haste into it. Lots of time invested so far. And uh, I think um, I think Class Champs is actually sitting up in their in their hotel room. I think they're one of the only teams that are not down here in the lobby right now. I think uh, we're missing out on their uh, them being able to join us here for uh, a little bit here. But I bet you I bet you Tribe Gaming will pop over here after they get a couple of attacks done, and then they start coming over here to gloat that they're winning. You know. <laughs> Because <laughs> they'll, they'll do that. They'll do that. Um, but ward ability goes off here as the balloons go towards the middle of the base. It's not going so perfect here. He's got another four balloons. Headhunters lock onto the world champion. They're going to get her down. He does have the slammer being the first to arrive towards the scatter shot on the right side. And I can already hear class champs starting to give up a little bit of a cheer there. Or excuse me, uh, tribe gaming. Give a little bit of cheer there. Maybe they think they got the defense. Not 100% convinced yet, but he needs to get this multi-inferno down. Mana's still holding here. I'm listening for Tribe right now. I'm listening for Tribe. Do we hear a defense? Do we, do we, do we hear a defense? <laughs> I think it's going to be a defense here. I think it's going to be a big defense on top of that, especially with uh, Tribe already picking up a triple here. So, yeah, he's not going to get these down. So, Tribe base is holding here. And if this is what we see as a preview to what happens when they face off in the first round of the world championship then that could be very very interesting but it is two misses out of the gate here for class champs and tribe gaming has an opportunity to go up by two yo yo going for a queen charge into twin hog we have super barbarians also as a super troop selected here so We'll go ahead and set it up here with the blimp going in after the monolith potentially here. I guess when they take out their initial targets, they're going to only be able to throw yeti mice there because they're kind of anchored down. Maybe go after the eagle artillery. Okay, gets the eagle artillery, but it leaves up the monolith there. I'm not even really sure what is the higher value target right here. But if the queen is able to keep her distance right there, then you might be okay. But queen goes to a very early ability. Queen dodging. The monolith range there, she'll stay away from it, and she won't have to deal with eagle artillery strikes later on. What we need to see next here is to set up for the king to go in across the top of the base there and force the queen through, through the jump spell, and into the town hall corner. The hogs can handle that monolith takedown. I'm not too concerned about that. The eagle artillery was definitely the higher value target right there. It needs to get the king to make sure this queen takes the turn and then this queen's gonna be under heavy, heavy fire the moment this rage tower activates here. So the more the king can tank, the better here. But he does get the rage on the queen, gets past the defensive Grand Warden, steps his way into the expos, lots of fire. Now king's tanking some of it. He's doing a good job up there, relieving some of the damage off the queen, but the multi inferno is still up here and it's gonna start to target the queen's healers. Yeah, we might be in trouble here, guys. Might be in a lot of trouble, but he's going to start in the Super Hogs in from the left side of the base there. 
Queen still has just a little bit of punch left here, but he freezes the Town Hall trying to get her through it. She's not going to take it on her own. She doesn't have enough punch to actually take it, but she's going to die in the process. He's getting a little bit of support there, and he does take it down. Lost the Unicorn as well, so not looking too great here, but the Headhunters are protected under the ward ability. Get into the defensive Queen, take her down inside the minimum range of the scatter shot across to the multi inferno and he's gonna be ending on the moth he needs to have some troops survive to be able to stay out in front of this road champion to provide her the tanking he has no more balloons for flank support here so got a bunch of these super hogs go along the outside of the base there the road champion to go south here actually it's gonna help him out a lot if the road champion goes all the way south and then loops back around look at the phoenix Look at the Phoenix! The Phoenix steps into the Multi Inferno. Gonna solo it up there. RC pops her ability. Not yet, not yet. Still holding it. Pop it now. There we go, there we go! <laughs> There's the cheer. Yo Yo 23 picks up a. Uh, wait, 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 oh, 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 yeah, there we go. He's got it. <laughs> Ground scale, he's stalling him up for just a second there. But he does get the model down, and it's two stars up here for a tribe game, and if they let out a cheer in the background. Whoa, there we go. It's Gaku. There we go. Say hi. <laughs> well, I'm dropping my cameras there. Hey, there's Gaku from Navi. He even went and put on his Navi jersey for you. <laughs> All right. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. All right. Well, Gak Gaku wandered off there. He went and joined up with his uh, team. We got all the Navi players hiding right up here behind, behind Itsu. You got Itsu there. You got all the Navi players hiding up there. They're just chilling up there. They're, they're not paying attention right now. They're too busy planning and getting their preparation for the World Championship finished off there. And I, I guess they just need to like get bases into the uh, into the accounts that they're going to be using. I don't know if you guys saw, but every time we do a World Championship uh, for the last, uh, I guess I guess they started last year, but they decided to start putting the clans. They make an account for each of the players there in a special clan made by Supercell. And then after the World Championship, last year they left them there. So I really hope that they they leave it there again and then they go back in and like label the clan with their placement ends up being the World Championship. So it stays in there as like a, a relic to show the history of the team there if anybody ever looks them up in the future. You know what I mean? But that's really cool that they did that last year. So I'm definitely hoping that they uh, leave them in again like they it looks like they're going to. But yeah, they'll have to get all their bases transferred over to that. So all the teams are in that preparation. So all the bases that they're running right now are probably burned bases because they need to have all their best bases for when they actually face each other on the World Championship stage in four days from now. So you can't be wasting those bases right now. But Leo does not get his queen to go into the multi inferno there. And if he got the multi, he probably could have charged in and got the eagle artillery down. So, so far, so good here. Queen over to the right. Or, excuse me, Warden over to the right there with the blimp deployed late there. He didn't deploy the blimp before he... Oh, that's bad. That's a bad thing right there. Okay, blimp's going down early. Okay, he goes invisible. Yet he stepped away forward and caught in the tornado. Uh-oh. 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 Don't one star. Don't one star. Don't one star. Oh, <laughs> oh, he got the talent down. All right. <laughs> but I don't think he can triple. I don't know if he can or not. Road champion at the top there. That was, that was Woody and Carver, but if you missed that. I don't think he can. All right, well. <laughs> I told you this was going to be chaotic here. Um, but yeah, he, he popped the word builder before he deployed the blimp. And you can hear Tribe Gaming let out another cheer. Another defense for them as they stop class champs up again. And if this is any testament to what we see on the big stage this weekend, then uh, Class Champs needs to step it up a little bit here because Tribe Gaming so far is dominating. Yeah, yeah. 8, 8 a.m. UTC on Friday is the start of the World Championship. So make sure you guys come hang out for that. But we got Exocyst live for Tribe Gaming going for a third triple in a row here. And looks like he's also going to be doing the Skelly Donut into Lalo. Going after the two Molten Infernos and the Clan Castle. All skeleton spells used here. Looking at the sweeper positions, I see one right there. And usually we run bat spells if we're not going to be in front of a sweeper. We can see a sweeper was right there. And if it knocked the bats back, then it would have messed up the Skelly Donut. So it's better safe than sorry. If you're already running two skeletons, you might as well just go three. You got to get that invisibility right. He does it perfectly. Exco is off to a good start here. But now he needs to set up the Lalo. King's diving into the Eagle Artillery. Simple, simple approach here. 
beacon. Oh, there's a Tesla farm pop in there, so maybe not as simple as we thought. Uh, wall break in, but the wall breaker not really doing a lot there. The king's gonna pop his ability, but still stuck on ground skellies here. Trying to do what he can. He's got the Phoenix, so he'll pick himself back up here, but doing okay so far. I think he's gonna at least, if he gets that expo down, that's the biggest target right here. Or if he can at least control it long enough for the queen to take it, then he's in a good spot. But if the queen does not get the scatter shot, the expo, and the world champion on the right side there, then he might be in trouble. I mean, my, maybe forced to an early ability here. He's got an invisibility. He could use that invisibility to try to protect her for a little bit longer. Or he can just pop his ability and try to take down what he can and save the invisibility for the world champion. And that seems like to be the case of what he's doing here. But he does get the scatter shot. Well, I don't know what Tribe is yelling about over there. You guys hear him? <laughs> um, either way, uh, he's going to go ahead and use the blimp to sail across. So we've got the warden ability protecting the headhunters, the blimp, the world champion, and the lalo all the way through that... Defensive Queen compartment. Blimp arrives at the Town Hall. A bunch of red air bombs going off there to go into... That's that's always good. Bring in a balloon to go trigger more red air bombs. And then the Yetis to secure the Town Hall takedown. And now it's out of the way here. The poison is not going to be on the same path as the rest of the troops. So there's that invisibility. Good thing you didn't use it earlier because the World Champion is making very good use of it. She's also got a skeleton spell there. Giving some extra protection. Able to hopefully get through it by getting stuck in the tornado trap. Looking really, really good though. I'm just waiting for the, the cheer here for Tribe again. But I think they may have overwhelmed this one so much here that we may not hear it from them. Maybe they're just, uh, they're just already claiming victory, you know? They're good. There we go. There they are. <laughs> there we go. Three triples out of the gate here for Tribe Gaming. They're so energetic. Yeah, they are. They are. They're very energetic. <laughs> yeah, they're having a good time over there. Um, but that's, that's three stars up here. And there's only two attacks left here. So Tribe is dominating this match here. I'm curious to see if they can go all the way to the perfect war now. Because they're on track to do so right now. Completely destroying Class Champs. Alright, Loop is in again for Class Champs. And they're desperate now. They need to get all triples and they need to pick up a one-star defense. So it's, tri it's Tribe's war to lose right now. And we'll see what happens here. But it is going to be a... Super Archer Bomb, able to deliver it all the way in. He had wall breakers inside, able to get the walls open. A slight gap in that invisibility, took a little damage there from the Town Hall, but keeps on working away here. Gonna secure the Town Hall takedown, and working on the scatter shot up there, but does not get the scatter shot down. All right, that that's some that's pretty good value. He, he definitely could work with that. That's a lot of the base they're taking out by that blimp. Leaving up a couple of multi infernos, but the multi infernos can be quickly dealt with by the world champion. And I do see if the heroes, the king and the queen, can go off to the left here and get the expos under control. Both of these expos, they're going to be in a pretty good spot here. Then the world champion could be delivered into the multi, the scatter shot, and then work her way backwards and meet them at the, at the monolith on the backside of the base here. I think she could definitely handle that. I haven't seen much for Tess's pop of the base yet. Or did we? No, we saw Tesla's over right next to the entry of the blimp there. So that's already dealt with. So that's that's icing on the cake here. But the Queen breaks her way in. She needed to go in here because she needs to get the Expo down. King circles on the outside, going into the other Expo. Already used his ability. Everybody's kind of getting low on HP right now. So he's sitting on 18 Super Barbs. That can give him the support into the backside monolith here. But the Queen does get the first Expo down. The King's still tanking. Queen looping around here. The Phoenix will keep on working there. And the Queen should get that Expo down. That was her primary target. If she goes down, after that Expo goes down, he might be okay. But he puts in more Super Barbs all across the bottom here. RC still has her ability. Looking okay here. Queen recovering now. The unicorn, lots of super barbs. RC steps through, but RC goes down before she gets the scatter shot down. But there's a lot of super barbs left here, and the queen, since she's recovering, can still get in there. Diggy can take his stun. He's swarming it. He's got it under control here, guys. It's a triple. Class champs will, I guess, get themselves a glimmer of hope there. And it is going to be the first triple of war here, but it might be too little too late to have any chance to stop and tribe today. Now the question is can. Tribe Gaming get the perfect war. Going for the fourth triple right now, Rakirez. Gonna be trying to set it completely out of reach here for Class Champs to have any chance for a comeback. But it is gonna be the Queen making her way in from the very bottom here. Queen charge into Lalo. And uh, let's see what he can do here. A couple sneak goblins take out the perimeter collectors. 
Be able to get them to go in and support the Queen. Skeleton spell is down, providing some tanking. Gets through those storages pretty quickly there. And softens them up there pretty strong for the Queen to step her way through. But the question is, does the Queen go into the Town Hall compartment? Or does she walk off to the side here? He's got it. He's sitting on two extra super wall breakers. Okay, they're, they're having fun over there. You guys hear it? That's Tribe. That was Tribe. Or maybe that was uh, Strut, because Strut's also, like, right behind us here. But uh, I don't want to... There's, like, a lot of, like, extra people that are that are just passing by here that are also don't want to be on camera without permission, you know? So they don't want to just put all the players on the camera. If they all pop over here and say hi, then uh, we'll, we'll say hi to them. But uh, we don't want to... <laughs> we got to also respect that we're in a public space here and we are streaming in the middle of a hotel lobby, you know? Um, but it looks like Rick Harris was able to use that blimp to sail over the Queen's head and secure the tunnel takedown. So looking good there. King over to the left. Going to make his way into the... Defensive Roar Champion over the right. The Lalo's going to start off here. Queen under a lot of damage here from the Defensive Rage Tower. But the King takes a lot of the tanking there. Hold the attention of this other Expo, which is very, very valuable. Here comes the Wall Break. First Wall Break. Or that's the, that's the second one? I don't, maybe, maybe it was the first one. I don't know. Either way, he does get the base access here to get the Queen to both of these Multi-Infernos. Looking very, very good right now. Freeze up the one Multi. The Queen takes the interior one. And then, of course, the balloons away over to the side here. She pops her ability, trying to get more damage a little bit faster. And, uh, oh, Carbon's back. Car Carbon's back. All right, say, so, uh, oh, you're... I'm going to I'm gonna write a message in the chat. <laughs> not going to have Eric see the chat. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm oh, going to scroll up. So... <laughs> he just scrolled up my chat. All right. And he won't see the chat. I'm going to ask <laughs> you guys a question, and he won't be able to see it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Or we'll try him on the, while he's doing that. Drive just picked up their fourth <laughs> triple of the war. Four days out from the World Championship. Another cheer there as they are now going okay. for 15 stars. All right, Carmen, what do you got? What do you got? No, no, don't look. Don't look at the chat. I, I asked them a question. No. Oh, you're asking oh. them a question? Okay, I'm going to cover up the screen. Yeah, there you go. I'm asking okay, that them a doesn't... question. All right, what's the question? <laughs> no, 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 no. They got to they gotta answer it. They got to answer yeah, They're answering it right now. So you don't know what the question is. Oh, there's chat up here. Yeah, oh, yeah. What are they saying? Oh, uh, they're saying yes. I guess... I can't. Uh oh, uh -oh. What are they yes for something? What are they saying yes to? I don't know. What? What is that? What? <laughs> it's okay. We can do a hat reveal. Uh -oh. I got. I, uh -oh. My hair is nice right uh -oh. now. It's 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 a special occasion here. Oh! It's, it's, it's so shy. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. We we will we'll do it for we'll do it for worlds. All right. We'll do it for worlds. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. But if you do, if you, you do want, if you want one of the one I have though to cover up your bald no spot, promo. then uh, exclamation mark merch in the chat okay, or check sure. the YouTube video description. All right, <laughs> we oh. got one hats. <laughs> Thanks for the promo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate that, Carbon. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, make some money to yeah. help me uh, <laughs> me go repair my ego. Uh. <laughs> all right. Well, it is Selenio going in for the final attacker for Class Champs, trying to at least get 12 on the board here. And it looks like he's going in with the Super Minion Bomb, not Super Archers. Need to take the Town Hall down here. Got the model, got the Clan Castle. Very, very good start. And it looks like that's that should be sufficient value here. Because he does get more value for technically less spells than you would for the alternative with the Super Archer Bomb. This is too good. Oh, where's Bash? Bash is... Oh, all, everybody who's not in the casting crew or the players are going to get out here on Thursday, the day right before the World Championship. So, uh, otherwise, I'd be bringing uh, Bash on the screen here. But I got Woody next to me. I got I got Woody right here. I'm I'm budget version Bash. Hello. <laughs> it's good to be here. I am also very loud. He's very loud. <laughs> and kind of big and oh. have a beard the and can tussle. Bash is, about, tussle. Bash is about to get replaced. <laughs> Tussle? He's gonna tussle. Alright, alright. Well, uh, <laughs> let's, let's see, uh, alright. Well, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Oh. <laughs> see, look how, look how uh, tight-knit our uh, community is here. That's what we love about Clash of Clans, right? Everybody gets together, and that's the best part about the World Championship. Everybody gets to come out here and uh, hang out together, and then we get to, we get to hopefully bring as much of it as we can to you guys out so you guys can enjoy it too. But, looks like Selenio is doing decent, but he needs to get past these defensive heroes, so... He's got the head on his down. World Champion passes up the Queen. Queen's not in the best position here. Here comes the Headhunters while he still has some tanking. The scatter shot turns on him. The World Champion steps through, got past the ground skellies. And by that, I mean he made them invisible. 
And he does get the king out of the way here. So three more super barbs directly targeting the back end defenses. Seems to be okay here. He's got a lot of time to work with. Target your back end. <laughs> what? <laughs> are you trying to get me demonetized? <laughs> Woody, <laughs> settle down. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna. I, I don't know what to say. I'll let, you're making me blush. All right, well, let's get. <laughs> Let's get another triple on the board here. Class Jams ends it at 12, but Tribe Gaming's already at 12. So, barring a disconnect, we're going to round number two in this grand finals. Class Jams needs to oh. talk to the hotel manager and get him to disconnect the internet. Well, that's the only thing that'll save him right now. So, let's dive into Nebrox. Here we go. It is going to be Skelly Donut into Lalo. All right. All right. Going after the Skeleton and Bat Spells onto the Multi and the Clan Castle. Nice, simple start here. One of the more simple Skelly Donuts. Making sure to line it up on the edge that they share, not with the one tile overlap there where the Clan Castle would be sticking out one extra tile on the other side. But a simple, simple setup here. Get the Clan Castle destroyed so the troops can no longer deploy. Yeti Bomb takes out the Multi Inferno, guard on the other side, and gets the Raid Tower pre-triggered here. And that is going to be gone. The Rage Tower will not be reset there by the time he gets the heroes in there. A couple Sneak Goblins going to finish off the funnel. And here we go with the heroes. We got the Queen going to start off. We want the King to cut off the Queen's pathing and force the... Have one of them go to the Town Hall cover and one of, one of them go up to the Defensive World Champion and scatter shot. Looks like he's going to have the King be in charge of the Town Hall takedown, but under significantly less damage there than he otherwise would be if there was a Rage Tower activated. But... One of the Expos locked onto him. The other one firing away on the other side here. King running Frosty on. This is interesting. This is probably a mistake because Nebrox likes to run e drag so often. He is actually running the Phoenix on the border, which is very, very typical of an e drag attack there. And then he's running Frosty on his King, which is also very, very typical of an e drag attack. But he still gets it done with the King. He uses that extra invisibility. Queen, why not wander off there? Queen needs to take the turn back. I don't know if she will, though. Grand Skelly's up there where Champion starts off. Queen's taking a walk. But maybe she'll take a turn back and go to the scatter shot. He doesn't bank on it, though. He does go ahead and deploy backup balloons into it. Reacting properly here with one balloon providing initial distraction. A couple pups right there. He does get inside of it. Never takes a shot. Looking good there. And looks like he's got it under control. Multi Inferno and Eagle Artillery is next target there as he freezes up. Rage Tower not going to do a lot here. He'll get the Eagle Artillery down. The Rage Tower is effectively useless right there. But so far, so good. Still moving strong. Queen's still alive. Queen, because she survived initially, is circled all the way around at the top of the base. Dirt is getting some ass extra assistance on cleanup. Maybe she can get some shots on the defensive queen as well. Return to the wall. Looks like she does get some tags. And she assists the headhunters. Gets down that defensive queen there. And the headers will right into cleanup here. Lots of blue still alive. One freeze left here. A little base left. Queen has some cover out in front of her. The right tower has reset now and does go off. For red air bombs here. Red air bombs could still stop this. Lots of red air bombs are usually stacked right behind the town hall. Menu working on the right side, working on the sweeper there, stopping any potential knockback. And I, I don't know if they know if they got the triple or not yet here, but I think they got it now. I think they just need to coast away through the air defense. The queen has the giant out front of her, steps in, takes out the Arctic Tower, all the way to the air defense, and Tribe Gaming pick up the perfect war here, maybe? Yes, yes, yes. There it is. <laughs> And there's the cheer off of the background there as they will get 15 stars against the same team that will be their first match in the World Championship. So that's going to force it to round number two, which means the YouTube audience will have another war tomorrow to see what happens in the next round and decide the grand finals. Maybe Clash Champs can come back and win it. This is very, very important here. This is how you properly close out a war. Judo, do me the honors. Subscribe to Clash with Eric right here and watch tomorrow's war right here. Whoa. Have a good one. I, I don't even know if that's where it's going to be, but I'll put it in there. <laughs>